What is going on YouTube? Today I decided I was gonna react to Dave and I's first video that we ever filmed together. I'm 99% sure this is the first video that we did film together. This is way before any of the Gymshark sponsorships. This is, this is literally OG of the OG. So if you guys are new to my channel and you guys haven't really watched Dave, which is a minority, a minority of you, this is one of my best friends and this is how we started on social media. Just to give us a tiny little background, it's probably all I need to give because 99.9% .9 of you know what's going on here. But yeah, this is the first video ever filmed on Dave's channel. This is before I ever had a YouTube channel. This is, this is where the Jersey Juice Gang, whatever you want to call us, started, okay? So basically, I'm just going to react to the video because I thought it would be really, really funny. This video, guys, is, like I said, the first one we ever filmed, so it's super OG, and I haven't watched it probably since it came out, or even when it came out, I might have not even watched it. So I just downloaded it from YouTube, and I'm just gonna watch the whole thing. It's 19 minutes, so what I'm gonna do is just kinda cut it up a little bit, and I'll leave out the boring parts, but the interesting stuff where I'm commentating, or I think something's funny, or whatever interesting, I'll just keep it in, but I am gonna watch the whole video. Um, and I'll also link Dave's entire video down below, because why not? I'm just gonna jump into it and react to the video, so this should be pretty fucking fun. All right, I have it in front of me. Everything's normal, right? Yeah, it's just trying to everything's normal. What, what, what are oh you eating? Oh my, I don't know. Is that a chicken steak? No. Oh uh, he's my not gosh. eating anything, I got two big right, right, pancakes. I, gotta, real quick, I just gotta give you guys a background. We are right now sitting in Dave's mom's old restaurant. She owned this place. We would go here all the time. This is amazing memories, honestly. Haven't thought about this place in a while, but she owned this restaurant like 20, 30 minutes from where we lived, and we would go here all the time and just gorge on food, which is obviously what we did this day before our workout, I'm assuming. So yeah, this is the background. Dave and I are eating at his mom's old restaurant. Uh, if you guys have never seen videos from there, that's what this is. Gray banana, two servings of Italian French toast. Yeah. What's up? Home fries. This is oh, how he's yeah, he had home fries. He ate them. What? Yeah, he got his home fries. Everything's fine. And we got this big ass sandwich. Now I'm not furious, Pete, so I can't eat all this. But I'm gonna eat this here, maybe one of these, and then the rest after the workout. So yeah. All right, today's pre-workout. I'm gonna take three thousand calories. Yes, Pete. I just take my old Gatorade bottles and I use my <laughs> pre-workout oh, shakes basically because. It leaves a pretty bad smell and Gatorade bottles. Are you have a push day? Huh? You have a push day? No, I got legs. He's going light today on the drugs. What? I didn't say that. That was my normal stack. All right. So we have that and some TMMA. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> and two Advils. And we're good. Oh my gosh. We oh, ruined an entire generation, making you guys take all this pre from these videos. You got this bigger? Is what makes got a lot of you guys take all this damn pre. Wow, well, you don't get that on camera. Don't get my buys on camera. No. See that I'm fat. All right, there was a last minute emergency, and we have to make a cutoff from this white tea right Okay, this clip's just hilarious. Give me so much nostalgia because this is my mom's old house. Before we ever got it remodeled, she, she has sold this house since this video and it, it was remodeled and stuff like that. But like, wow, this is, we were like in high school in this clip, I don't know what year it was, maybe juniors, sophomores, I don't know. But Dave just took one of the most euphoric fucking pre-workouts of all time. Okay, ESP, the original, the original ESP by Metabolic Nutrition. He slapped some DMAA on top of it. I don't want to talk too much, but damn. And now I'm just flexing in the mirror in my underwear. How, I don't know what's going on. I'm in, the, I'm in my underwear, in my house, and Dave's just here. So, for who? For you. Okay. So I figured I'm gonna take the opportunity to show you guys how to make a cutoff. So, first you wanna start right about. No, all the way up. We for me, for the traps. Up. I want right here, oh, right, there. right there. Yeah, I want right want there. Fucking stringer, all right. Fuck yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> traps out. Let's see how that goes. Watch it out a little bit. I was trying to show the traps for sure. You're not gonna do it. Yo, what, what federation you want to dominate when you grow up again? USAPL, change of plans. 
Who was the, the, the USAPL last time? Uh, this is the thing. So we used to go in the cars, if you guys don't know, and he, Dave would just ask me what federation I'm going to compete in. Apparently, it's fucking IFBB because I'm an IFBB pro, so I lied about the USAPL. Sorry for all you guys I lied to. Who was the USPA last time? Wait, wait, why, wait, why was it in the USA? All right, we're gonna stop by Rock Bottom before we go, which is a local What's supplement Rock Bottom? Oh, okay, there we go. Hey, it's a local supplement shop, oh, right? Oh my god. And you're gonna take your paycheck, and you're finally gonna buy pre-workout, so you're gonna have to steal them off me every time. I'm still gonna steal People don't even know yet yeah. about Rock Bottom, gentlemen. What do you ladies. get, ESP, full power on the old Jack? Um, yeah. And I'm gonna get a multivitamin. I went to Rock Bottom the other day. You know you know the old USP last yeah. year, Jack 3D? Like, what Dude. got famous, got it on the map. Yeah, heart. I'm thinking about it. You got, whatever. USP Labs made the old Jack 3D with the DMMA. It became super famous, right? Yeah. And then it got banned because the FDA said, fuck you, one through dimeth, you're too good, and we don't want to use it in our athletes, whatever, right? So, I go on rock bottom the other day, and they have this product called literally Old Jack 3D. It's like this is so funny, made the exact same proprietary blend as the old one through dimeth Jack 3D, and they call it Old Jack. It's literally the exact same. And you're gonna buy that today, right? Yep, I'm buying it. <laughs> Dave getting excited yeah, dude, I don't talking know if about I should, it. But like, I'm like really contemplating like taking creatine. <laughs> like, sh should I get it today? Should I get creatine? Uh, you creatine, creatine like you're, aggression. You might like, you might lose your family. Like, that's what I'm know. saying. I don't know. It's real bad. You don't mm. want it. I've been taking creatine for three years. I mean, two years. Wait, how long have you been taking creatine for? This is what we talked about. I remember at the stage when I was like 13, 14 years old. I remember like when you first saw Dude, you need to get something to mount your sh like, like right there. Yeah, I'll get it. Remember when, like, the big guys had Remember that. when we first started lifting, right? You were fucking absolutely yeah. terrified. You had to Google like, oh my God. Like, also, I don't want to talk about the video too much, but I just think it's so funny. Like the way that we're filming this video, like just look at Dave's videos now or my videos. My videos are probably trash, but look at Dave's videos, which this is what this was, and just the quality of cinematography in this video. I'm just like, you could hear the fucking mic port being scraped. I'm just kind of like jiggling the camera all over. That's absolutely hilarious. It's creatine safe, like, yeah. can 13 year olds take branch chain amino acids, like? I remember that. They're just so funny, like. 13 year olds, dude, they, they, all, those are all the kids who want to take branch chains and creatine <laughs> and glutamine and, wow, that's, a, that's so weird. I used to be the biggest supplement who I literally had. Dude, remember when I would sit in class and be like, oh, like, what supplements can, like, I take, like, I'm 14? <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah. So what supplements would you say are pretty much the only ones that are essential? Um. Honestly, creatine, a multivi I mean like essential. Well like Like yeah. the ones that like I would I would recommend. Well, nothing's essential. Okay, literally not yet. Yeah, but you um I just, like I would recommend a multivitamin fish oil and creatine for me, but that's all I use. I don't even use whey protein. What about pre workout that you fucking oh, buy? Yeah. Well yeah, today. and pre workout. You don't talk about but that? I don't really recommend honestly buying pre workout if you first start lifting because like you don't need it, you know what I mean? And like, like yeah. literally for me, I, I was always like super against it and stuff. And now that like I started using them, it's game over. Like I need it. Every, like if I want to hit a big PR, I'm like, oh, I need a big scoop of ESP. Like, yeah. that's what happens. Dude, I remember like big scoop of ESP has 500 milligrams of caffeine. I recently found that out. I knew that. That's fucking savage. Is that a lot? 500 milligrams. I, mean, I, I felt like 750 was a lot. I mean, I don't. If you, if you need 750 to get a boost, like, you need to take a week off. Bad. You pulling today? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Well, 655 for uh, four, no, I'm kidding. I'm doing 455 for six sets of four and possibly pulling 550 for it just to shut him up. <laughs> possibly. Oh, man. Yes. How are you gonna feel when you miss it? Um, all right, now we got to film it and put it on your fucking video. I, I literally have it. That's pretty strong because I think in this video I was like 17. So I was, and I did, right in this video I was 100% natural. Never used anything at this point for sure. And I was doing 455 for some decent set work. And my, my max is roughly 550. On fucking tape that you saying that you're going to try. So if there's no footage out tonight of you hitting that lift. Sorry, bud, you're still at a 540 lifter. I don't know what to tell you. All right, now he's calling me out. So yeah, yeah. All right, 550 today. But then I won't be able to get my 6x4 properly. Yeah, you can. No. You're going to go light on it. You can get it. Four, 455, 6x4? I might do four, I'm going to do 440. If I, if I max. If I do uh, If I do 550, I'm doing a... 
if I decide to, you know I can. I mean, let's get the rock Let's get the rock Let's get the rock I'll hit 550 today. Now you're gonna look stupid. Dude, you're gonna look stupid now. Why would you, you can't put this on? I'm just pushing your limits, dude. That's funny. It's so fucking true. Get this for 9.99. Okay. And that for one of these. Okay. Oh, it's time to check out. Blue raspberry. Oh, uh, 97.98. It'll be other. Okay. Tossing oh, yeah, cash around. Old Jack. What's that? Where are, like, do you have, like, Which one? Full yeah, you know, power used to just be uh, James sold it, Rock Bottom sold it. It was like just uh, pure DMAA. Pure DMAA. We used to just take this shit with our pre. Like we fucking take 500 meters of caffeine and slap 75 bigs of 13 DMAA. Lord help us. Alright, so for this workout, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna. I'm gonna play through some of it, but I'll probably skip around a little bit because I think looking at this, Dave put every fucking set of every single thing we possibly did. So I just wanna see where the strength's looking like, what's kind of going on. Also, this gym right here, if you guys are OGs, you know, this is the old island gym setup. This is where I started in the fucking gym. Like where my, I mean, my journey started before this, but this is when I got really into like, Hardcore lifting, getting serious with it, really fell in love with it to the highest degree, weightlifting, bodybuilding, powerlifting, whatever, was this gym. That squat rack, I had hours and hours and hours put into that motherfucking rack. PRs there, you know, shit. This is just nostalgic looking at this, honestly. Also, those red squat shoes, Dave still has to this day. And the red belt that he'll probably put on in this video, he has to this fucking day, still wears it. And this is so 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 20. That was like seven years ago. This video was like seven and a half, maybe even eight years ago, right here. Okay. So this is, okay, I'm ripping three plates right here and it looked pretty fucking easy, honestly. I don't know. I mean, I don't really deadlift anymore like this, which is absolutely insane. Just because to think about, you know, back in this day, there was never a time I did not squat and deadlift. Uh, like deadlift twice a week, squat twice a week, same thing for Dave. Also, Dave's ATG is fuck here. He's got perfect squat form. He's always had really good squat form. But let's see if he goes heavy, breaks down in form, and we can see why he's got herniated discs. All right, this is me doing 580, or sorry, 405 pounds. My stance is a little wide. I'm yanking the bar, losing tightness doing that. My form is not good here, honestly. It's not terrible, but it's not good either, for sure. Okay, Dave's, oh, three plates, looks kind of heavy. Let's see how many he does. Okay, paused it, it's heavy, it's heavy. It's not why, it's heavy. Okay, this is 455, I'm doing set. So I'm a little bit, I'm not pulling the bar back into myself enough, which is not good, I can already tell. So what I'm doing here is like, I'm a little, I'm not upright enough as I could be. My stance is a little too wide, so I'm not getting enough leg drive off the floor. And, but it's not horrible. I'm not really having any rounding of my mid low back. If you have a little rounding in the upper, like I see here, it's not horrible, but this is pretty impressive. I'm 17 here, so I'm probably a sophomore in high school. Dang, was I junior? I don't know, fuck, I wish I knew. I was a sophomore or junior in high school, probably freshly 17 in these videos. So I think it could have been like, I don't know. Could have been early 16 though. Could have been, I don't know. Okay, Dave's got three plates and a five on here. Okay, 325, Let's see if the man can handle himself. Oh, okay, it's heavy. He's pausing it though, we'll give him that, he's pausing it. He just has such long range of motion, like we would always argue, like you heard us in the car, I'm like, I'm gonna shut Dave up and try 550, which I guess I didn't do in this video, but we would always argue like on what lifts we can do, what lifts we can't do, you know, who's stronger, like that was legitimately 99% of our arguments. And Dave got so good at his form, I feel like, because my genetics are so much better for strength, and it just pushed him to get that much better form-wise. So it's actually pretty funny. But I feel like here he's doing like seven sets of three paused. This is the type of grungy work you have to do if your goal is strength, is day in and day fucking out, you're, you know, you're on the squat rack, you're on the deadlift platform, you're on the bench, you're doing your accessories, you're in the gym for like three hours because of all your rest times. This type of stuff is necessary for some of your workouts, like powerlifting workouts, in my opinion, way more time consuming, way harder than bodybuilding. 
Uh, like the way we used to train back in the day during this period was definitely much more powerlifter focused, but we still did train for uh, you know hypertrophy. We still added accessory movements, but we definitely focused more on bodybuilding or sorry on uh, powerlifting for sure by far because we were just so concerned with lifting heavier numbers which getting stronger on the main three movements you're gonna add muscle but you know so we got bigger but definitely we're more focused on powerlifting for sure okay dave's here on three wheels is it just a million sets of this i might skip forward Skip forward a little bit because the video is so fucking long. There's a million sets. I was just doing how many plates? Shrugs. I was doing like six or seven plates. I used to do that shit. And doing that one time, I fucked my neck up somehow. But this is kind of the end of the video, honestly. This is more like uh, just like some accessory movements that we're doing. I honestly enjoyed watching this entire video, though. I enjoyed watching this because like... The nostalgia is just insane. Like this old gym, this is where it all fucking started. I just, it's like, I almost can't even believe like watching this, that this is kind of how it started. We were like, we're just wearing, we don't have any gym shark clothes. We don't have any fancy clothes. I'm just wearing, I'm shirtless in the fucking gym right now. I don't know what's going on, but um, wow. This is just insane to see it. It's crazy to think about how far we've come from this point and stuff and how things evolved and all of that stuff. But I mean, yeah, seeing this is honestly really, really cool just to see like kind of like where we came from. This is just what we used to do every fucking day. We cared so much. Like this is all we cared about. It was all we loved and we turned it into a living. So it's pretty awesome. But if you guys want to see more reaction videos, let me know and I will do them. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this, and I definitely did myself. I think it's fucking cool watching this old footage, these old clips of me and Dave when we're like 16, 17. So let's see what we do here though. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy your day, enjoy your night, enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, more videos to come. Another one next week. I'll see you guys. Peace.